Um, I loved everything apart from a bit of Biffo. I thought that went over the top a little bit. We'll get to that later. You liked it? I liked it, Buzz. Did you? Yeah. We'll, we'll get there later. Yeah, we'll get yeah. there later. Okay. Uh, Mick, what did you, you think about the game? Obviously disappointing yeah, for yeah. New South Wales. Ha- heartbreaking break. Yeah, the, the result. Um, I, I really you know, had great optimism. I thought it was a real good opportunity for us to go up there and uh, rain on their parade. And it was, I mean, obviously the occasion in itself was fantastic. We've, we've been starved of that the last couple of years with COVID, but to see... Suncorp packed to the rafters and, and the performance from all 34 players. Yeah. Look, look, no doubt a couple of New South Wales blokes today would be disappointed with a few moments that they had, but it was a cracking series. It was a cracking series and, and Queensland's performance, as difficult as it is to sit here and say they were, they were tremendous they last were. night. Uh, I asked Brandy um, straight down the barrel, where did it go wrong? I, I think most of us know where it went wrong, right? What, what was your take on it? Yeah, I... Couldn't agree more. I thought that opening 15 minutes, they came out like Queensland, like we expected them to. Uh, they got on top. I thought we probably missed our assignments a little bit with our end of sets mm. early um, in that opening 15 mm. minutes. But we weathered the storm to that period where uh, Holmes scored. It was a yeah, it was a, it was a great try. It was a courageous line mm. that he ran um, and a tackle that we, we should have made. We weren't able to do that. But I thought the injection of Saifidi when he came on, yeah. and I thought Coruscant really started to make some inroads through the middle and control the ruck. I thought he did a tremendous job, Appy. Um, in that final uh, sort of 15 to 20 minutes of that first half. Really took control of the ruck, opened them up with Saifidi going through. We were on top. And then, unfortunately for, for Daniel Tupo, yeah. that moment proved pivotal. Well, with that, Mick, Origins are won or lost yeah. with big moments uh, at Origin level. And, and this was one. For, for me, this is where it was lost. Just before half-time, yeah. Brandy kind of played it down a little bit. And he's got to protect his players. And mm-hmm. Tupo's one of the nicest... Guys in rugby league, so yeah. it's not nice to, to see or, or to see happen to someone. But when this happened, Mick, yeah. New South Wales had just got a sentence over mm-hmm. the last sort of 15 minutes. Well, they, you were start, the, they were yeah. starting to get on top. And then after this, it turned into a try just on the on the. What's the of reaction of the crowd here? Because for, for a period, they'd been silenced. We, we'd taken the emotion out of Suncorp Stadium. Yeah. And you could hear that roar. And then all of a sudden, there was hope. There was life in the Queensland side. We went a number of set restarts on our line. And Harry Grant, look, I, you know, Cooper sat there last night and said it was a planned move. Mm. Sure, it might have been a planned move to try and move to Desco, but he got a little bit of luck. But you create your own luck, and it came on the back of that era. And for Queensland to go in at halftime, I thought 12-6 showed where we were at. Mm. Had we have gone in at 12-6, I think we would have been really happy. But I think they went into the sheds with ascendancy and also that sense of hope that mm. they were still in the game when, mm. when mm. New South Wales were on mm. top. It was a big moment, and it was a... A big play by Capewell to get yeah, that down. It was. It's interesting you're talking about that. And, Candy, I heard you question Brandy about the kicking last night. And I think the kicking's got to come back to Nathan Cleary in that role. And I have sat back and watched over the last decade halves who haven't aimed up. And the pasting that Mitchell Pearce has got over such a long period of time when you're in a side that loses that's what, $1.35 favourites? Mm. The series against Wayne Bennett two years ago. and So what did you I, want him I, to do different? Well, Put the ball in the corners. So Cherry Evans and, and Ben Hunt the, were kicking from the, the 50 metre line into yeah. the corner all night. Mick, he, he was kicking from 30 are... metres off his line. But what, what, what do you want Cleary to do? No, you, no but what, all I'm Bird saying... put a bomb up midfield. Yeah, that, that, that one, bomb what, up what about the other one that he got wrong that went 20 metres and then went 20 metres back? Like so in the opening half. That there. If you put it all to the corners and putting it up, maybe you've got to change it from our 30 saying, metre line because of how good well, they've got Queensland's field was. That's what they're Mitchell, Cleary couldn't have done any more Michael, in this kicking game. We were Mitchell getting dominated is, on plays oh, one, two and three. We were getting dominated on plays one, two and three because they were suffocating us with our kicking game. No, and Cleary did his job to try and kick us out of trouble where he If Mitchell Pearce had had that number seven jersey on and played Which the same last night, Pierce he'd be back page, front page, and we'd be slamming Maybe he would, but if you, if you understand where the game was at and how the flow I of the game... I do understand the game. I watched then, it. Then, then, I, then you'd know that it, it, you know, the halfback can only do so much, Buzz. He, we, he we, can we, only so do you so much. So you were happy with the kicking game? I thought Cleary was tremendous last night. I'll tell you where the focus should be here, Buzz. Jerome Luai. Where was he? No, he played poor. Where was he? You know, like, Cleary carries... Oh, well, I'll watch what I say, but he carries the Panthers every mm. week. Mm. He was outstanding in game two. I thought he did a good job last night. The last play wasn't the right play. He should have put, it, put the ball on the try line to give mm. ourselves a chance to win. But his partner in crime wasn't there. His partner in crime yeah, threw the ball over the sideline. front line. foot footy. That's right. Yeah, yeah. See, Cleary can play off the back foot and he can play off the front foot. 
Little I can't. He needs everything going the right that's way. The first thing going I th the right that's way. the first thing I thought last night when I watched that blue side being dismantled. I thought, is this the way someone's going to upset Penrith this year? They're going to bustle them and play tough and get in their faces and stop that kicking game. And well, Crichton struggled too, Buzz. Yeah, you know, he did. Another Panther. He, yeah, so, but look, I can... Oh, I can't bag Blue Eyes selection though. No, no, I'm not bagging yeah, the selection yeah. at all. And you can't bag Cleary's selection either, Buzz. But no. yeah, if you're looking at performances and you're looking to blame someone, it's not Cleary in my eyes. I agree with Mick on that one. But his kicking game, the kicking game had to be better. What, what I was critical of, Mick, mm. was the bomb worked in game two. Yeah. But being in the next half and, you, you know, they're a low percentage play, right? And Burton's great at him when he gets them right. But for the first kick pretty much of the game, in good mm. field position, they go for the bomb. It went nearly backwards. Mm. They're on the back foot from the first five minutes. And that's not origin. That's and, not origin. And footy. particularly when we're struggling to, to get out of our end, that was where we just needed to stay patient and play the long game and just continue just to try and go set for set and just keep turning Queensland around. But we went for a play to try and unsettle them when we needed mm. to be a little bit more, a little bit more confident you know, in in our plan. I think you know. Now obviously they plan. Were they to getting do that. out of themselves? No, I don't think so. I think they just know that they bombed trouble. It, it, it worked with great effect at different stages, but. You've got to look where and what part of the game we were using that in, in game one, uh, game two. Um, yeah, I, I was with you, Braith. I, thought, mm. I felt like we just didn't execute our end of sets, I didn't mm. think, in that opening 15 minutes. But, well, you know, you go back to your point, mate. The, like, the, the, errors that, the errors that we put ourselves under pressure mm. with suffocated us of field position to be able to kick mm. on the front foot, to be able to turn the tide and, and be able to mm. kick like, you know, we go back to that. Doesn't one control the other, though? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it so does. that's why our kicking but, game wasn't as good as Queensland's because we, we, we came bash up with the halves errors. every year. We bash the halves every year. That's why we've had a thousand of them. But that's why they get played yeah, with bucks too. Yeah, but, they, but yeah. You, know, you, you know, the halves are only as good as the the outside backs and the back three. Who I thought were were average, so, were average, and the four and, and, and the forwards getting them in, into field position to, to get the kicks away, like Mick said. To this, it's always break. a bash up on the halves. It may. Oh, I've well, played in Origins where right. the forwards have gone nowhere and you're kicking from your 20 or 30. So when the game was in the balance, Kenny, when the game was in the balance and they came out at half-time at 12-10 up, we'd obviously had time to reset and, and work out uh, you know, how we wanted to attack that second half. We overcooked it in the first set. Cherry Evans plays back on the inside to Caelan Ponga. Instant line break. From that time, we never got field position back. We had no attacking opportunity and that was on the back of us being a little eager to try and unsettle Queensland and get on top. It's also on the back of Queensland being outstanding in all the effort areas. Definitely. That's, where, that's the key. Where they outplayed New South Wales that's right. from 1 to 17 last that, night. Right. And you can sit here and crap on that's all about right. all that. <laughs> yeah. But the fact is, you know, every time, every time Origin comes up every year and someone like myself or Buzz bring up the fact about the you know, Queensland passion and you, Alex, as ex-players, and, and I say this respectfully, get your back, backs up about we, we're as passionate about our jerseys as what they are. No way in the world. No way in the world. We've got, we've got, we've got a bloke that gets knocked on the door by Billy Slater and says, mate, you're playing five, eight monsters out. He tears up and he says, I won't let Queensland down. The number six in the other jersey can't wait to play for Samoa. So don't mm. tell me the passion's equal. Are you as passionate yeah. supporter as a Queensland supporter? No, I'm not. No way. I'm, look, I'm not. A, look, Why I'm, is that then? Because I tell you what, because if, if, if someone flew in from Mars today and you said, right, there's two teams here, you've got to support one of them. This team is always the underdog, but they win more often than they lose. This team is always the favourite, but they lose more often than they win. This team over here, they always stick loyal, they always pick each other. This team over here, they swap and change. Who would you support? If, if one team was orange and one team was pink, who agree. would you support? I, you, you, I, I don't agree with you. Like, I know it's, I, I it's, it's, easy, it's easy to sit there and, and say that after Queensland get the result and they play the way they did, but you can't tell us how we, how we feel pulling on a jersey. I'm not telling you how you how feel, Mick. I'm telling you how much it meant to me. You, you, you can say there's a perception and a look that that is the case. You can absolutely say and, that. And I said something last night that I look at Queensland players like they want to play for the Maroon, the Queensland jersey... And I look at New South Wales players that they want to play Origin, not necessarily... The, uh, I agree, Buzz. Not necessarily that light blue jersey. You and look, it's very easy about. to sit behind a keyboard and say that.
but it's the impression that I yeah, get. And we you can't listen speak to Gilbert talk about, about half other listen, players. No, 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 I can't. I'm no, just no, I'm saying, saying we can't. We, See, you no. might be right, Buzz. I'm just, yeah. I, I, I'm, you know, we can't speak, we can only speak but on the behalf of us, can't speak on behalf of The only men. factual information that justifies a comment like that is, three years ago, they won an impossible series. Impossible series. And I think this year, even without Luttrell, even without Turbo, even the mistake without White, on paper we were the better football side. Yeah, I agree with that. We were. We, we, we should have won the game. We should have won the game. New South Wales should have won the game and the series, and they didn't. Uh, so let's, let's, let's get to New South Wales have lost three of the last four games now and two of the last three series. Let's get to selections, Kenty. I know. With the best team. We, we, you know, it's, it's, it was hard to talk about with Brandy. We, we asked him about a few selections there, whether they should have done things differently. He's just coming off a loss. You know, he's very tight with the camp. He can't come and just no. you know, stick the knife in or the boot in the day after. But how did we see the selections and where did they get it wrong? Well, Jack Whiten won. We've all said on this show that he was... If you're rating the Blues game one, he was clearly the number one player on the field. Then he gets COVID, can't go to Perth. There is no logical reason not to put him back in the football side for Brisbane. I know they want to stick with the Perth side... But I would have loved to have seen Jack White in there last night, and um, I think it would have made a difference. Because you could sell the argument too to Crichton that look, it's Jack's, it was Jack's position, and, and you've come into the side for game two. So, but now that he's healthy, but through no fault of his own, he missed game two, so you can give him his position back game three. The fact is, you listen, and I said this earlier in the show, you listen to the way Billy Slater defended Dane Gagai after two fairly average games in, in one and two. Mm, okay. No, no. The way he, and he stood up for him last night. He was really mighty for Queensland last night. Because after a while, when, when you see that the team and the coach are all got your back, you, you feel an obligation and you go out and you repay that. New South mm. Wales, uh, he's gone. Tony Staggs did nothing wrong. He, he, he didn't play great in game one, but the fact is he had uh, poor deliveries coming to him. He, he had, he, the halves just didn't get him the ball where he needed to get the ball. So through that, he gets blamed for it. He gets wrist-sold out. So you felt like you watched when you watched the that first Origin game, you felt like Stags and Whiten were on par in terms of their effort and getting involved in the game. I don't think Stags had much of an opportunity so given you the think way the game was Stags played. Just needed to wait out there. I, and, and I think I think when you get beaten and you blame the centre because mm. he's the change you make, I think that's a bit well, tough. And you know, but where was, but where was Jake point point makes, in game the, one? Yeah. The the best point is Gagai missed 18 tackles and they picked him straight away. Yeah. I, I don't disagree. I I, I said so. straight after game two. What compels like, you to play for New South Wales? When Vonnie asked me about where Jack White fits into that equation, I said that Jack absolutely had to be in that team because I know what's under Jack's bonnet because I've worked mm. with him mm. and, and I know going into a decider Why if I was playing that? there. Pardon? Why didn't they I don't know. know. I, I can't answer that. But I, I can only speak from my experience that going into a decider or going into a big game, he's the type of bloke that you want beside you. Yeah. And I, I would have loved to have seen him there. I didn't, f I didn't feel comfortable seeing him in the background mm. all week because I know that he would have thrived in that environment. Last night was his game. Yeah, it would have been. I agree. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. They won so well in game two. They stuck to their side. They hoped that the, those guys that they put faith in would turn up and deliver last night. And unfortunately, and a did, few of them fell a, well well short of, of they their They did that with an expectation of be a similar game yeah. as game two. Now, Buzz, you're the only, the only bloke in this building... Didn't like the stink. Didn't like the stink last night. Yeah, well, let me qualify that. There are a couple of incidents, and the player I really want to criticise is Tino, big Tino, from the Gold Coast Titans. And the first incident... Which one have we got here? That whack there, that swinging arm to Matt Burton, I thought in any other game this year was a sin bin offence. I really did. So and what was wrong with the fight, Buzz? What was wrong with the fight? Why, why, was it, why, why were you concerned? My problem, I don't ever have a problem with a one-on-one -on -one altercation. Mm. But when Tino came in, grabbed him, put him in a headlock, a player who was already under assault, and copping punch after punch. I thought it was a really, really throwing. low act. Kenty, it was two on one. Yeah, well, and that's, he had that's, him in a headlock. You know he couldn't problem, fight you back. Know the problem is, Buzz? The Blues were too slow to get there. No, 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 no. They were unwilling when they did get there, Buzz. They should have gone in, instead of coming in for a big wrestle and hug, for a bloke, they should have come in and thrown a couple themselves. For a themselves. bloke who threw the swing arm I spoke about and got himself in... He should have been the sim bid more than Matt Burt. This one here? Or the, yeah, or on the, that or the other one? For putting oh, the player mean, in a headlock. Okay, you were Tino. 
I don't think he should be playing football this weekend. I think he should be spending for There's a couple of weeks. Fight. Look, you know what? Yeah, but Kendrick, we don't tolerate it anymore. Of course we don't, but it happens. And it didn't, it didn't make the game any worse. It actually made but, the game good. Look, my view is this. If you want to see a punch-up, go and watch Nikita Zoo on Matt Rose's show on Fox Sports <laughs> next Wednesday night. <laughs> right. Or go and watch UFC. Yeah. I've, Rugby I, I, league I, at this what? level is about we'll buzz, skill. Buzz, we'll, we'll, it we're is. talking. Buzz, mate, they're week-to-week -week football. And, and, and you're, you're right in a lot of ways, mate. Mm. We, we've sanitised our weekend football to fit the public perception beautifully and over, three, over the last yeah, couple of seasons. You know, and, and we're not talking about junior football here and kids playing on Saturdays. We're not talking about I those. I didn't say we were. Origin's Michael. different. It's been built on hatred and mm. it will always be built on well, hatred. Well, why haven't we seen and it And sometimes, since as Kenty said, the emotion spills over. All right? And you, you, know, you won't find well, many we... of the... That next year when the highlights reels roll out, don't tell me that's not going to be front and centre oh, because it gets right. people out of their lounge chairs yeah. and, mate, they loved it. I agree, Mick, and I reckon we'll get more fans and Origin is back after last night. I thought Watch it was an absolute